Right then, for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to rewire Reason to Cubase. This is a really good idea because it will give you the chance to access thousands of samples that are in Reason rather than in Cubase. So what I'm going to do first, I've loaded up Cubase. It's important to always load Cubase first. Then after that, I'm going to go down and load up Reason. Always load Reason after Cubase. It's actually it won't work otherwise as a rewire. What we're going to do is trigger the MIDI from Cubase. We'll send it to Reason. Then Reason then sends the sounds back to Cubase. Right. Don't worry if it can't set up the control surfaces. Just click OK. Once it's loaded, it will give you a blank session. The first thing we're going to do is just have a quick look at this thing here, which is the audio outputs. Now, every single one of these audio outputs can be sent to Reason, uh, to Cubase, sorry. So you can actually have 64 of them, 64 separate sounds, but we're only going to use one and two as a left and right. Now to turn it round, you press the tab key on the keyboard. So I'm gonna set up a mixer that will mean that any sound in Reason comes out as left and right through channels 1 and 2. Uh, everything in Reason needs to be mixed in Reason before it goes to Cubase, but we'll talk about that later. The next thing I'm going to do is click back onto Cubase, go to Devices, scroll down Devices to Reason Rewire, and click on Reason Rewire. As you can see, all 64 channels that are possibly available to you from Reason are there but you need to switch them on. I'm only going to switch on one and two because that's the only two we'll be using. That's, as you can see, has just made a new channel for me. This is actually an output channel, this rewire channel. We don't need to do anything to it, it's just the master output from Reason. So all I'm going to do is close the folder there and move it up to the top so it's out of the way. The next thing I'm going to do is listen to my track Now, I want to get rid of some of these drum sounds because they sound terrible. I want to make them sound a bit more cool. The bass sounds alright, so I'm going to leave that alone, and I might play with the synth sound. So to change the, all the drum sounds, what I'm going to have to do is send them to Reason, and then Reason will play a different sound instead. So, the first thing I'm going to do is go back to Reason, and I'm going to set up a drum computer. Now, you can either do that by pressing Create and going down here to redrum drum computer or you can right click in the blank area underneath there and click drum computer each one of these once you set this up each one of these little windows is a, can be a different sample by clicking on here and loading a sample you could have a whole patch which is a preset of samples if you wanted to but I find it easier just to find specific samples for specific sounds so the first thing I'm going to do is the kick drum or the bass drum so I click on number one and as it loads I have to wait a little bit it's going to uh, I'm going to use the reason factory sound bank for the main reason that uh, that's the one most people use but if you want to use other things you know it's whatever taste you have so we just wait for that to load and obviously it's taking forever okay so I've now got the so I click on Reason Factory Sound Bank then I want to do Redrum folder then these are all specific kits I want to have the exclusive drums sorted double click on that double click on bass drums and it gives you loads of bass drums so you can hear them I'm gonna try out one or two okay so I've got one I quite like click OK then I'm gonna also need a snare a hi-hat and possibly a shaker we'll come back to the shaker in a minute but we we'll use the hi-hat first so a snare first sorry so I'm going to go back to exclusive drums snare drums if 
found myself a snack. Oh, that's rubbish. It's not very Michael Jackson. Okay, we use that one. Now to preview the sounds, you can click on this thing here. Now that's quite a nice sound, but it's a little bit high for me for the sound I want. So I can actually pitch it down a touch. That's too much now. Let's put the difference. Maybe put a little bit less on the tone. Lovely. I want the kick drum to be a little bit louder. It's a little bit weak at the moment, so I'll just turn it up a bit. Lovely. And then hi hat. Nice bright hi hat for this one. Lovely. And then what we'll do now is once you've loaded these sounds, we go back to Cubase. So click on Cubase. Now, we need to get the sounds from the output from Cubase into, into Reason. Now, normally you would do this by dropping down on the output here and selecting where it goes. But unfortunately, when you're on a virtual instrument track, which is one of these ones that has these funny little keyboard things, it won't let you select Reason. So what you need to do is underneath this, Underneath the track you're about to change, which for me is the kick drum, I need to add a track. Now, it has to be a MIDI track, so I'm going to click MIDI. I only want one of them for the time being, and I'm going to call it Kick Reason, so I know it's in Reason. And it comes up with Kick Reason there for the name of the track. Then I'm going to copy all this information down by just dragging it out of the one before. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it all together. This is so that once I edit the notes, which you'll see me do in a second, so this is the glue tool, glue them all together. I'm going to edit the notes by double clicking on them. Now. At the moment you can't hear anything because it hasn't had set. So what I will do is I'll go back to the output and select the output. Now as you can see all the reason stuff's come up. Now if you name your reason tracks, so watch this, if I name this drums in reason just by double clicking on it when I select the output of my kick reason drums, it will now trigger that sound in reason. So I need to find it first. So, no. so it's actually on the correct one at the moment. So it will now play the kick drum from reason rather than the kick drum from Cubase. The kick drum already sounds better. Now we're going to do the same with the snare. So. I'll do it the same again. Set up a new track underneath it, MIDI. OK. Snare Reason. Then output of Snare Reason onto Reason Drums. Make sure it's there. Then we drop this down, glue it, and then we check to make sure it's on the right note. At the moment, it's on the wrong note, you see. So what I need to do is zoom in, uh, zoom out, sorry, then holding down click, I select them all, and then I just drag them down to the correct note. Sounds better already.